The Australian Golf Club looked magnificent once again in preparation for round four of the ISPS Handa Australian Open. We begin our highlights with Jenny Shin. Oh, yeah. putt at the seventh to move to five under. Trying to track down Ash Buhai, who had the overnight lead. Yeah, G.A. Shing, she would take dead aim here on the third hole. Wendy, win behind her. Best shot of the day here at the third. She'd go on to that and make birdie there. Grant Forrest finished on the hill known as Dunks Hill to the right-hand side of the ninth fairway to close out his front nine. Bending one on the breeze, playing into a strong southerly to close range. He would make that for birdie to move to minus nine. Now Adam Scott hit off the back nine at 11 o'clock, gets around to this point. His second nine, this for birdie, had to play away from the hole from his second shot. This would be the longest of the day. This in for birdie to take a, a lead of 14 under par. In Wu Lee. Chance here for Eagle at the par 5 14th. Made just one birdie in his entire final round and eventually finished two shots out of the playoff. We go to his big sister here on 10 in G Lee. This one trekking down. They probably one of the fastest putts all day. Perfect speed in the left hand edge. That would rocket her to nine under par. Makuya Hoshino. In pursuit of Joaquin Neiman. Birdie putt at 17 to draw level at 14 under par. Oh, and this is Ashley Buhai. This to be back-to-back -back Women's Australian Open champion. And there you have it. The winner of the ISPS Hander Women's Australian Open. Hold off Benji Lee by one shot. It was a nervous par at the last, but she becomes the third player to win the Patricia Bridges Bowl in back-to-back -back years. This putt at 16 was pivotal. Long one up the hill, over the step, and into the middle of the cup to move to 14 under par. Yeah, that was a vital time, and here it is. The second hole in the playoff has been cut close to the water on the right-hand side. Wedge in hand from 142. Absolutely spectacular. It was on repeat in the five feet. He's after missing an eagle putt at the first playoff hole, which would have given him a victory. He had a chance at a do over, and it turned out to be second time's a charm. From just outside six feet, he grabs for the very first time the Stonehaven Cup, and he's the men's ISBS hander, Australian Open champion. Joaquin Neiman alongside her with the Stonehaven Cup in his hand as well.